So anyway, uh, we have some topics waiting for you. We uh, have got the review of the phone. Yes, it's the S3. Everyone's been waiting for this. Yes. Mm. Also, how about a robot that sits on your shoulder? I also got a robot story. Oh, what was that? A robot that you can control with your iPhone. Oh, yo. Plus, mm. another robot story. What? You will become a robot. What? <laughs> so stand by, it's yep. upcoming. So first story first, this is a robot uh, by the Japanese from some university somewhere. We'll post the link in a bit. But uh, what they've done is they have created a robot that sits on your shoulder like a mini-me. You see it on your screen right now. Now what this robot does is it actually connects via Wi-Fi or cellular line. Okay. Once it's fully made, uh -huh. it connects to a human body who's sitting maybe in a house somewhere. So this fella, okay, will be controlling the robot from where he is sitting. So when you're walking around, this thing is moving around with you. And it's really small, yeah? So it can move its hands, it can talk to you and whisper to your ears. Oh, so uh, you're actually bringing a virtual friend who is sitting in your house. Correct! With you uh, when you go outside. Are you so smart, you so smart, you smart you me. Like you so <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I tell you. <laughs> so what else? Oh, well, they're saying that um, it's not completely out yet, yeah. but uh, they hope to get it done. And once it's completely done, it will be called the MH2 Wearable Communication Robot. Uh, oh, okay, again, 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 again. MH2. MH2 Wearable Communicator Robot Wearable Communicator Robot By the Yamagata University By the Yamagata University Correct Wow, tongue twister all Next Next Now Sony mm. just announced two very very durable uh, Android phones Ooh. It's called Xperia Go Xperia Go And Xperia Acro S Xperia Acro S uh, Sorry, turn hit your iPad a bit It's, uh, it's not an iPad uh, It's a uh, Windows, Windows uh. phone tablet <laughs> Windows phone tablet, you know Okay so this is it. This is the Xperia Go. I must say it looks very lovely. It, it, it reminds me a little bit of that. You know what's that? Xperia Active. Ah, but yes. sleeker. This one is a lower version mm, wow. of these two models. But the nice thing is, it's durable and it's water resistant. Cool. <laughs> ah, the next one is the Xperia Acro S. Okay. This one has a 4.3 inch hit, a 720p HD reality display. This one you can also sit on it. This one also can. Wow! Also waterproof one. Wow! Uh, so more it has a 12 megapixel camera. Oh, you sure? PlayStation certified. Oh, you sure? Full 1080p HD Absolutely recording. Absolutely amazing. Yes, I um, the cards are coming so quickly. Uh, watch the video now. Bye, Go from sleep mode to snap in just over a second with fast capture. What a mystery! And show it to your friends with just one touch. Holding on a wire. Invisible key. Don't Dust resistant and water resistant. And a stylish and fast dual core smartphone. So quite lovely. How about this? We turn you into a robot. Wow. This is a biochemical circuit um, that will turn you a man or a machine. You see all these parts, right? They've been putting electrodes to our brains Correct. To, to activate certain things or whatever, right? But they never really got to transmit signals to parts of your body. Now, check this out. This, this scientist, his name is Klaas Tibrantes. Klaas Tibrantes? He's from the Linkoping University. Linkoping? <laughs> Okay, so he has, he's been able to create this thing called biomolecules mm. that will transmit actual data mm. through your bloodstream. Wow! So it can actually turn on, like for example, say, oh, turn on the finger. Hey, how do you turn on? Turn on, on the finger. Open, open your fingers. Open hey, your finger. Open your fingers. <laughs> Or blink an eye, they'll do that. Okay. How amazing is that? So you mean someone else outside can actually control our body using this robot inside, is it? That or you can also program yourself to react to certain things that you're not usually, you know, too Oh, uh, so you can actually control your leg to jump higher or if run faster, want. right? Yeah. yeah. Wow. Yep, it's coming soon and uh, watch out, it will turn all of us into cyborgs. Yeah. Now I've got an iPad case here, it's called Solar Pad. Okay. Why is it solar pad? I went like that. Ah, yeah, correct. Solar pad. Why is it called solar pad? Because it has a solar pad. Right. It's like pad pad. Uh huh. So it has a solar panel at the back of the iPad. 
to actually power up your iPad. That's cool. So that when your iPad runs out of battery, which hardly it, happens, which hardly happens, uh -huh. it powers up your iPad. And also, apart from the pad, okay, on your iPad, right, it also has a speaker. Oh, okay. the sound. Yeah. yeah, and the speaker. And the speaker is for you to play music, like you know, when you're watching yeah. movie and all. Yeah. So, so is so, it a Bluetooth or is it a cable that connects to it? Oh, I think it goes through no, the dock. It goes through the dock. Yes, it's actually a whole casing like that. How much does it cost? Uh, apparently, they say the the, the person who made this, mm -hmm. they forgot to include the price. Very How about this? Another robot story. Now, do you hate chickens with bones? Yes. Uh, you will get chickenless, not chickenless, boneless <laughs> chickens from now on because they have created this robot that uses 3D imaging and force feedback to debone chickens. So the moment you put the chicken in front of this robot, the robot will look at it and say, "Ooh, this chicken is very fat." So on uh, the back side is like that, the front is like that, the bottom is like that, the breast is like that. And then, so it will actually use the arm, go and start pinching on the bones and cutting out certain parts of it. Wow. So you end up having a chicken that's got no bones. Can we put live chicken in front of the machine? No, that would be very, that would be called animal torture. Animal torture, uh, so must die first. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, I sense they're coming. Oh, how do you, how do you, how do you? Oh, next. Okay, next one, we've got a robot that you can control with your iPhone oh, and your Android phone. Oh, it's basically a ball. Right. And uh, it's called a spheral robotic ball. So what the heck are you gonna do with a ball? You can you can use it. To, uh, you can control it like a remote control car. Ah. You can play with it like a golf ball. Means you put it on the ground and then you can hit it with your iPhone, right? And then you can also the ball changes color. I'm sorry, but so it's very stupid. It has a, it's a it has a mechanism that connects your iPhone and the ball, so you can change color accordingly. Price tag? Price tag is one two nine 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 USD, which is. How's it five? Us? No, it's hundred and twenty nine dollars. Oh, it's about six hundred ringgit. It's six hundred ringgit oh. la. So if you want a toy, if you want a robot for yourself, you can actually buy this. Hi, for gadget review this week, we have the all new Samsung Galaxy S3. It's oh, the yo. one that everyone has been waiting for. Yeah. And uh, it just got launched a few days ago in, in Malaysia. In How much does it cost anyway? Um, it's it's uh, about two one nine nine. Okay. Retail price, but uh, you can get it about nine 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 with your with with contract. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, basically, this is how it looks like. It's uh, running on ice cream sandwich, quad core, one point five gigahertz, has an eight megapixel camera at the back, and a one point nine megapixel camera on the front, which you can record seven twenty p videos. It's um, 8.7 millimeter thin, and uh, it has a 4.8 inch HD Super AMOLED all, screen. When you're watching a video, let's just say I'm watching this, right? Okay. And then while watching this video, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna view Instagram, right? I can press this button oh. to, to pop out the video. Wow! Yes, while I'm watching the video, I can do all sorts of things. I can view Instagram. Wow! I can move it anywhere I want wow. while doing my things. Yo. Right? And then when I go back to the home screen, it will still be there. Wow. So I can move it anywhere I want. I tap it again and it will launch the video player. Uh, a bit laggy, huh? And uh, yep, so that's the pop up display. Right. So, yep. Yeah, another feature that I like is actually. When you're reading an SMS, mm -hmm. and then it knows when you want to call the person instead of replying. Uh huh. So all we need to do is just hold the phone up to my to our ears. Okay. See me do it now. Ready? Yeah. Four. Ah, I see. Oh, the screen's changing yes. and it's and calling. It's calling you. Me. Yes. Is my phone ringing? Yes, it's vibrating in my pants right now. Vibrating, huh? Okay, and thanks for watching episode 31. Yes! Okay, next week we got a big, 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 big thing to be given away. Wow! Uh, Something is, which is bigger, faster, stronger, better. <laughs> you know what? You just mess it all up. <laughs> but it's gonna be amazing. You will love it. Yes, stay tuned. And uh, that's it. If you want to tweet us, yeah. smash pop, Benjamin Technology. Email uh, us at I love you at technology.com. But uh, what's up? Uh, Facebook? Uh, Facebook uh, is just fb.com slash technology okay. or Google Plus. Google Plus is this? Uh, something. Something. <laughs> Click on it somewhere. Yeah, the link is down there. Okay, that's it. See you. Bye.